God has planned for us, we may think, I'm just going to be an average, ordinary person doing the same old, same old thing. You know, just going along as normal. And there are example after example after example of the Bible of people who thought that was going to be the case. Look at the disciples. What were the disciples before they followed Jesus? Fishermen. Fishermen. Tax collectors. Tax collectors. There are a couple others. But just ordinary people going about their ordinary lives, like ordinary boxes. But no, Jesus said, I got bigger plans for you. And he put each and every one of them to do amazing things for his kingdom. And you know what? A little duct tape, some wood glue. No, I'm kidding. You guys, all of us, every one of us in the church, no matter how young or how old, we can be repurposed for God's kingdom. And we can be repurposed in new and amazing ways in our life to do incredible things. And I've got one last example of that. My grandmother, who happily lived in Wisconsin, she still lives in Wisconsin, but after my grandfather died, after he passed away, and she was in what, I think 60s or 70s at that time? She has gone on multiple mission trips. She spent a year in Alaska. In her late 70s, maybe early 80s, probably early 80s, she went to Central America on a mission trip. So you're never too young and you're never too old to be repurposed for God's kingdom. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, even when you surprise us with, you know, snakes and stuff, we're glad that you're there. We're glad that there's a message for us. God, repurpose us in, as we need to be to further your kingdom. Help us to find new and exciting ways to be a part of that. In your name we pray. Amen. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. <laughs> and he has a microphone too. <laughs> you guys are having way too much fun with us this morning. <laughs> All right, Tim, you get to open the box this morning. Thank you. I'll um, sit back down. Well, normally it's uh, it's it's not alive, but we'll see. I'm not sure what I'm buying into. You can hand it to one of your granddaughters. Not the microphone, the, the box. Okay. Don't you want to shake it? You can shake it. Maybe we better count to three. Oh, no. Oh, no. than you are, than about the, uh, the snake that popped out of the box. I mean, we could go all kinds of ways with that, Garden of Eden, you know, uh, feeding your kids, a, you know, giving your kids a serpent instead of food, you know, stuff like that, we could go in that direction. But I'm all about re-engineering things, right? How many of you, well, let's see, 
Probably only Danny did the cardboard challenge. Any of you have ever done the cardboard challenge Jack in school? Jack did the cardboard challenge. Yeah, we Jack did it. Did you help out with it? Yeah, I helped with it. What did, did you, what did you make? A Ender Dragon. Oh, and it's nice. Huge. Yes. Danny made it by Danny made. It was mostly Daddy made, but Dan, they, they came up with the idea and a lot of the design work. Danny and Timmy made ski ball machine. And it works. It works. And obviously, Jeff made a snake in a box. <laughs> now, I couldn't just hand you the can. I had to make it jump out of the box. Clearly, clearly. And I, I'm very impressed with your engineering on that. And, uh, and that, I wish I had grabbed your picture before you had done that. Um, and now I can't use that idea for when I get to bring in the box. But maybe I can one-up you on that. Yes, you can try but so I love, I love taking things that aren't supposed to be used for that purpose and repurposing them. Anybody ever do that? I'm sure a lot of people do that. Very popular this day and age, right? Repurposing things, re-engineering things, taking cardboard that was supposed to be a boring old box and turning it into something really cool. It's great fun. Wood glue is amazing. Duct tape is awesome. And you should play with it. I recommend it for everybody. But you know what? God's doing the same thing for us. 